everybody. Uh, I just want to talk to you about the healthcare debate that is going on right now in this country and what my thoughts are and what my views are on this issue. Uh, presently, I believe that the healthcare system needs reform and it needs reform now. We can't wait another five years, we can't wait another ten years, we can't even wait another year or two because during those critical years more people, more patients, and more citizens of this great country will potentially be laid off their insurance plans because of pre-existing conditions or because of enormous rate hikes to the premiums that is already far too extravagant and too exorbitant for people to pay. A lot of those people can't afford those. And it's about time that we recognize that we need a fair system that is looking out for the basic needs of the American people. And what we need to do is we need to push the Congress to reconcile their differences and reconcile them quickly and with all deliberate haste and tell them to stop the bickering because the more that they bicker, the more that they stonewall, both Democrats and Republicans, the more people are losing their health care coverage as we speak. We don't want a system that produces losers of between 31 million and to 46 million Americans that are currently uninsured. What the President's plan does is it covers that 31 million uninsured right off the bat. It's going to take some time but it will do the job. And I'm confident that the President of the United States is listening to the American people when they call out for reform because it is quintessentially American to look out for the basic needs of others. And it is the President's job description to not only look out for nation security, but also Americans' well-being and their health security and because it also affects their economic security because this economy is 17 percent controlled, at least structurally, by the health care industry and by health care spending. So there are economic consequences that will be strong, that will be potent enough to avoid us from running into future problems with our budget deficits and with our national debt, which continue to pile up each day that we don't enact reform. Let me tell you a little bit about why I think this current system is unacceptable. And actually, I have one very strong reason why it is, as I've deemed it such. Uh, currently, we have a very unconstitutional system. The healthcare system that we have right now is unconstitutional because it violates Section 1 of the 14th Amendment of our Constitution, also known as the Due Process Clause. I'm going to just read for a moment what it says. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law nor deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws.